Welcome to Podlash Reads, Lala family, it's so good to be coming to you live tonight. It's this beautiful Sunday night, we got a refreshing rain earlier, and I praise the Lord, we get a refreshing from the Lord, I, I trust that all of you are doing well, I trust that God is blessing you and helping you, I get so excited at times about what he is doing and how he's moving. I just want to come to you, we want to come to you tonight for just a few minutes by Life is going to sing, and then I'm going to bring you a very short, encouraging message. So, hang in there with us. Let's worship the Lord a little bit. God bless you. Bye bye, thanks. <laughs> Wait until that time. You know, we're living in a time and an age today, tonight, where there seems to be so much discouragement. Turn the news on and you hear about bad things that are happening. You, you, turn, you read the newspaper, magazines, and you hear about all the bad stuff that's happening. Seems like your world is filled today with discouraging news. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, it seems everything is down and gloomy and out and we, we wonder if there will ever be an end to it. We know there's a story in the book in the Bible in first Samuel chapter thirty. Yeah, and first start with verse one. It reads and it came to pass when David and his men will come to the glass. On the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captive that were there in, they slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire. 
and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept. And they had no more power to weep. Have you ever just cried so much to have no more power to weep? Have you ever just poured your heart out to God to such an extent that it seemed like you got to a place that you just couldn't cry anymore, you couldn't weep anymore? You've been so discouraged, it seems like everything is going wrong and everything is just happening that we're looking today. And many times when we get like that, we begin to look for encouragement Maybe from our friends, maybe from our family, maybe from the church we attend, maybe from our pastor or whatever. We look for encouragement, but sometimes we don't find it. Matter of fact, David was in this situation. Remember, David suffered loss too in all of this. Yet, verse 5, it said, And David's wives were taken captive. Our henemate, the, 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 the Israelites, and Abigail, the, Mo the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite, first is, And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him. They blamed David for, you know, it's one thing when you go through something bad. But then when people want to blame you for it, and tear you down and discourage you every way they can, I mean, it looked bad. Because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his son and for his daughters, but, I mean, for his daughters, they had it bad. They could not look up, they were looking down. All they could see was discouragement, all they could see was the bad things going on. And instead of encouraging one another, what did they do? They wanted to take David, who was the leader, and stone him. But here's what I wanted to point, brother, I want to make a point to you. It says, but David he encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Sometimes in life we get into situations. Like I said, we might lost a job or may seem like our kids have gone bad or may seem like we're constantly fighting, we can't make ends meet and uh, you may have had uh, job layoffs, you may have had job cutbacks and all of this other stuff and it just seems it's getting worse and worse and worse. Friend, can I encourage you? To encourage yourself in the Lord tonight. Learn to let's encourage ourselves in God. That is from who? Because our strength comes from Him. Our help comes from Him tonight. How do I encourage myself, preacher? Well, the number one way to do it is by, first of all, by just getting along with God and just praising Him. Begin to lift up his name and begin to thank him for what he's done for you and I in the past. You know, many times, so it's, it's many times in my own prayer closet when I get discovered, I, I love to begin to think about what God's done for me in the past. And I love to begin to say, Father, I just thank you for that. And I begin to name what he's done. And as you do so, it begins to get, 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 give our hearts joy and strength. As a matter of fact, Psalm says, in the presence of the Lord is strength, is joy. And if we can ever we learn to, in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of discouragement, get ourselves into his presence, begin to pray, begin to sing, take, take the, the book of Psalms and go through them and just begin to sing them to God. I mean, that's what they were. That, that was, it's a psalm book. It's really what the book of psalms is. Find psalms in there. Just begin to sing them unto God. T 
tired, I just begin to sing. Uh, my, my wife gets on to me sometimes, because sometimes during the house, I'll just begin to sing songs, and I'll take songs and kind of mix them up and stuff like that. Because, now, I'm not going to go out and sell them. I'm not going to sing them on here, because it would be a copyright violation. But I'm just trying to express my love to God in my genuine way that I can, in my heart. And as I just lift up his name and encourage him, or oh, the book of Jude, chapter 1. Jude only has one chapter. Chapter 1, verse 20. Jude has, if you go back and you read the book of Jude, Jude is talking and trying to encourage the people then in the midst of an evil generation. I mean, homosexuality was rampant, violence was rampant. I mean, things were bad. You go back and you read it. Things were bad. He was even saying it's almost worse than what it was in the days of Noah. But verse 20, there was no encouragement there neither. But in verse 20 of Jude, 1, Jude says, But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. In other words, encourage yourselves in the Lord. Praying in the Holy Ghost. We have got a comforter, a helper, who will help you and I as we learn to encourage ourselves in Christ and learn to lean heavily upon Him. Can I encourage you tonight in the midst of all the bad news that is going on, in the midst of everything that is bad that is happening, in the midst of all that's going on, learn, let you and I learn to encourage our ourselves in the Lord. We need to learn how to do it. Because friends, it's going to get worse, I'm afraid. Nobody can stand between us and God but ourselves. And we need to take responsibility for our own Actions. I hear people say, well, the reason I don't go to church, and I believe you do need to go to church, but I hear people say, the reason I don't go to church is because I can't remember, because the preacher doesn't feed me. Well, there's two problems with that. My wife has cooked many, my wife has cooked many, many, many beautiful, wonderful meals. And they are good. If you look out my stomach, you see I feel the effects of them. But there's one thing I've never been able to get my wife to do yet. And she'll tell you she's not going to do it. I, 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 and we hope that we never get to the point that she will have to do it. And that is take you, sit down beside me, take my spoon or fork and feed me. Spoon feed me. I have to eat myself. I have to take my own hand, get my food, and eat myself. And even a person, and, and think about it really and truly, even a person, I, I have uh, volunteered in the hospital. I went into a man's room that was paralyzed from the neck down. I had to spoon feed him. Even then, he had to cooperate. He had to open his mouth and chew the food up and swallow it on his own. You, a person cannot be force-fed the Word of God. Sometimes my point is this, we have to learn to get into God's Word and feed ourselves. Begin to praise Him. Begin to worship Him. I heard a story one time of a woman who was a Sunday school teacher in a talk. She come to a pastor and said, Pastor, I'm quit. I'm giving up. I'm just quitting. Everything is not worth it. Everything's going wrong. Everything is just going bad. I'm just going to walk away. Pastor sat down. He thought just a minute and said, Okay, sister. He said, but before you quit, I thank you all to God to go into that sanctuary. We go down to that altar. Get down there on your face and hands before him and thank him 
for every blessing, everything he has done for you in the past, and he says, need the name each blessing. She said, okay, that's only fair, so she went in there and she five minutes went by, ten minutes went by, thirty minutes went by, and he began to get forward. So he figured he'd be right back. He never did see her go out. I went by and said, oh no, she's probably slipped out the back door. He got up and went into the sanctuary and she was up on her feet, just praising God. Tears of joy running down her face. She said, Pastor, I'm not quitting. God's done too much for me. He's helped me too much. For in some times we've got to learn to encourage ourselves in the Lord. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for this message tonight. Father, that it even crumbled in my own heart. God, that Lord, we thank you. That Lord, we can encourage ourselves in you. Thank you, Father, that we can learn to come before you and lean heavily upon you. Father, it seems tonight we're living in the midst of a generation that people have forgotten how to encourage one another. Even in the church world today, oh Father, help us to be like David, and Father, help us to encourage ourselves in you, to pray in the Holy Spirit, to begin to worship you in the Spirit and in truth. Father, I give you praise tonight for it. Now, Father, I ask you to bless each of my friends that are watching this tonight. Father, I ask that God, if there be any out there that does not know you as their personal Lord and Savior, I ask you that you would save them. Father, convict their hearts tonight that they would come to a saving knowledge tonight. Father, I lift each and every one up that's got needs tonight. God, that you will reach your hand down, you will touch, minister, heal, deliver, set free. Father, I curse diseases tonight, I curse cancer, I curse fibromyalgia, I curse Alzheimer's, I curse diabetes, all these diseases to go in the name of Christ Jesus. Father, send your word tonight, heal and deliver. For Father, we know that thou art more than able. And I thank you, Father. I thank you in advance for what you're doing. In Christ, most holy name we pray and ask. Amen and amen. It is our prayer that this message has encouraged you. If it has, please push the cell button down in the corner. Let others know about it. Uh, continue to pray for us that doors of opportunity will be opened as we, as we love to share our testimony and as we love to share the Word of God. So, uh, let other preachers know, uh, share it with other preachers, share it with other people. Friends, we love you tonight. It is our prayer that God will richly bless you. If we can agree with you as a touch and anything in prayer, Please send your prayer request to us. We'll be more than happy to pray with you. May God richly bless you. Here's our prayer. God bless.